G'day, Rick here again. When it comes to personal knowledge management systems or PKMs, there are a few systems around that you can use to structure your management system. Obsidian, which I use of course, comes as a blank canvas, so you have to start from scratch setting up the structure as to how you want to organize everything. And today, we're going to have a look at one system called the Johnny Decimal System uh, that I use, but I'll also cover a few others that have been around for a while. Now, links to everything that I talk about today with regard to structures will be in the show notes below the video. And then we'll also have a look at my Obsidian Vault to see how the Johnny Decimal System is set up. Hope you enjoy it. Now, just before we get into the structuring of our personal knowledge management system, let's just have a look at two very important rules of our PKM systems. Rule number one, personal knowledge management systems are personal. They are absolutely personal. You need to structure it to suit you. Rule number two, if in doubt, always refer back to rule number one. Now, if you're just starting out with PKM or Obsidian, I really would suggest that you can't do much better than Nick Milo's light kit linking your thinking. It's available for free. There's a link to it below the video in the show notes. And Nick himself also talks about the importance of ensuring that the personal knowledge management system that you use is personal. Don't get locked in by what other people tell you. But it's a good place to start. And that's the main thing. So in a lot of Nick's videos earlier on, he promoted what's called the ACCESS system, where the ACCESS was an acronym for A for Atlas, C for Calendar, C for Cards, E for Extras, S for Sources, and S for Spaces. This has since evolved into ACE, A-C-E, which now stands for Atlas, Cards, and Efforts. So Nick also has evolved his system and the numbers of folders that he's using to structure his personal knowledge management system. In addition to Nick, another person that you'll find featured very heavily online is Tiago Forte, uh, who wrote the book Building a Second Brain, and he promotes a structure called PARA, uh, and that acronym stands for P for projects, A for areas, R for resources, and A for archives. Now, I'm not going to go into these particular systems in detail. You can find out about both of them online yourself. So do a search for those and just get an idea of what else is out there. So let's now have a look at the Johnny Decimal System, which you can see on screen. Now, this was developed by a bloke by the name of John Noble, who is an Australian. It's based on the decimal system, obviously, but it wasn't developed specifically for personal knowledge management or Obsidian or anything of the like. It was developed for organising filing systems. Uh, so you can use it for your documents folders. Uh, you can use it for your emails. It still cuts down on the number of folders that might be used, but it organises them with a definite structure in mind. When I first started to develop my own system, I did struggle a little bit uh, because I tried to do it live and it's not the way to do it. The way to do it is actually just sit down and try and nut out 10 different areas of your life then categories that you think that you can put information into. And certainly there have been a few modifications with mine. It's, not, it's, it's certainly not set in concrete. And I've actually even got a couple of blanks there as you can see on screen. Uh, for future use. So we'll just have a look through what I've got here and see how it is structured. So, so it'll give you some ideas. Um, and then we'll have a look at the Obsidian one next. So uh, the inbox is really just where things get dumped, uh, bits and pieces. That's got to be sorted out and put somewhere else over some period of time. I've got another one here for simmering. It's nice to know there's nothing simmering at the moment. Uh, 10, I've got split up into my interests, artificial intelligence, philosophy, concepts, travel and photography. Uh, the 20 creations are the things that I do. Uh, articles, the articles that I write, the papers that I write, academic type papers, any videos I create and any images that I might create also. 30 is for Obsidian, we'll get into that. 40 and 50 are both blank. In the professional area, I've got the boards and committees I'm on, any presentations and talks that I've done, courses I've developed, tools that I like to use, coaching and mentoring, leadership meetings and, and people, which is basically a contact database that I keep there. 
70 of my sources, uh, I've got my images and my inputs from Zotero, the reference manager, any articles that I want to keep, books I've read and details about those, movies and TVs, quotes, anything from the internet, Obsidian maps of contents, uh, podcasts and stories. So they're all there. Uh, now, 80. 80 is just uh, learning and education, artificial intelligence, uh, or software courses, any other courses, etc. And the personal, of course, is personal. So now that we've been through that bit, let's just have a look at the Obsidian Vault. Okay, you can see my Obsidian Vault here on screen and also the area I've expanded out a little bit. So we'll go through each one of those and just let you know what, what's what. Um, the Obsidian Vault itself, I've split it up into Obsidian General, which is just general information that I happen to have collected about particular things to do with Obsidian. The attachments is where all of the files are that are images, videos, and that type of thing. Linked files are generally things like PDFs or uh, um, PDFs, documents, uh, spreadsheets that I might have hooked up in a link inside uh, my vault. Uh, plugins is any information about plugins that I want to keep. Templates, of course, is all the templates that I use within Obsidian. They're all, they're all stored there and that's specified within the Obsidian vault. Any training and courses to do with Obsidian. And then, of course, all my maps of content. Uh, now, if you were sharp enough, you might have picked up that I mentioned them before, which I had here in Sources, Obsidian MOCs. I realised that when I was doing the video, so that'll be deleted immediately following completion of this. It doesn't belong in Sources at all. So anyway, that's how I've got the Obsidian Vault, uh, the Obsidian category set up so that I can use it and it serves me with what I work working in Obsidian. So I'm really glad that I found the Johnny Decimal System. I really like it. It suits the way I work, but it is one such system. If it helps you, that's fantastic. I hope it's given you some ideas. If it doesn't, keep searching until you find something that does suit your particular style. And don't forget the rules, of course. Rule number one, personal knowledge management systems are personal. And rule number two, refer back to rule number one. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, cheers.